hold in my hand a baseball, America's favorite pastime. It has a rule book. It would be very confusing if they started to change the rules in the middle of a game. We wouldn't be able to follow the play action. Nothing would make any sense. It wouldn't be fair. In America, we have the Constitution of the United States. It's our rule book for our country. Judicial activism has stepped out of the boundaries, has stepped out of the rule book, and is now violating the separation of powers. Our Constitution, our founding fathers said, as Thomas Jefferson, it was a chain to chain down the beast, which is our government. It's not a living document or an elastic document that anyone can change at any whim. It can only be changed through an amendment process, through and by our legislative body. We as citizens must remind them and hold them accountable for what's going on in our country. Because if we don't very soon, the rule book will be changed. We are exceptional as Americans, not because of who we are, but because of the type of government that we have. Most everyone else in military throughout different countries fight for a king or a queen in country. We fight for the Constitution of the United States. It's an idea, it's a truth based upon the Bible. If we don't know the truth, we are not committed to defend that truth. The two and the unknown soldier personifies the price that was paid for our liberties, the blood that was shed. So once again, we must learn from whence we came and realize who we are so that we can guard these liberties, these unalienable rights given to us by God. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. On Iwo Jima, there was a particular Marine by the name of Woody Williams. This man was a flamethrower. He was tasked with going and taking out a Japanese pillbox, actually seven of them in succession. He could feel the machine gun bullets bounce off of his tanks as he crawled towards that first pillbox. He got up and took that along with six others out time and time again. He said that although he had made the way for those Marines that day to win that particular facet of the battle, the somber mood was still prevalent along with all of the other Marines that surrounded him until something happened. The Marines around him started standing up and applauding, some of them laughing, some of them crying, some of them shooting their weapons in the air. They were all looking in one particular spot. They were looking to Mount Suribachi, where our flag was going up, the flag that stood for the liberty that America is. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And it's something that we as Americans must remember. <laughs>